sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alhamdulillah we are continuing the topic questions and answers about islamic veil parde ke bare mein sawal jawab the first topic we're going to discuss today does the veil obstruct progress is the question so the first question that mentions here some people say things like the non-muslims have excelled in profusely meaning they are very successful and veil will obstruct muslims progress let's see the answer what the answer is the veil does not obstruct muslim progress in fact unveiling does yes this is true when muslims had shame and modesty and veiling was a common practice they conquered city after city consecutively until the flag of islam waved high in countless countries of the world veil observing mothers gave birth to generals commanders great scholars and venerable saints all of the ummahatul mu'minin and the sahabiyat radiyallahu ta'ala anhum wore veils the honorable mothers of sayyidina hussein karimain radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma the queen of paradise sayyida fatima zahra radiyallahu ta'ala anha wore a veil sayyidatuna umm al khair fatima rahmatullahi ta'ala alayha the blessed mother of sayyidina ghosi azam wore a veil in conclusion for a long as veil veiling was a common practice and chaste women confined themselves to shawls and the four walls of their homes then the muslim community excelled and surpassed the disbelievers since muslims began to commit unveiling due to non muslim influences like for example social media and certain jobs we have been constantly falling into the deep pit of indecent in the past ill fated disbelievers tremble with fear on hearing the name of a muslim but now as a conquest of muslims unveiling and wrong doings they have become dominant islamic countries are constantly under barbaric attacks and oppressive conquests but muslims are obviously to all of this what kind of prosperity are muslims searching for in watching films and dramas on tv social media vcr the internet in singing indecent movie songs dancing in weddings imitating unbelievers by shaving their beards wearing indecent clothes like unbelievers sitting their unveiled wives behind them on motorbikes making their making their shameless wives wander around amusement parks wearing makeup and sending their children to non muslim countries for secular knowledge there's a couplet here that mentions people that played with the swords till yesterday watch movies today with their sisters it is extremely sad that many muslims today are audaciously committing sins such as lying backbiting slandering betraying trust adultery consuming alcohol gambling watching films and dramas listening to songs etc most muslims women have adopted the impure attitude of walking shoulder to shoulder with men and consequently have thrown the shawl of shame off their bodies and are running their afterlife by wearing eye catching sarees skimpy outfits muscular clothing wandering about in wedding halls hotels amusement centers and cinemas with muscular hairstyle revealing the beauty of their hair and their bodies i swear by allah azza wa jal this lifestyle will not lead to progress or prosperity progress and prosperity lie only and solely in obeying allah almighty and his beloved prophet 
sallallahu alayhi wasallam and spending our extremely short late lives by following the sunnah entering our graves with our faith safe and reaching to paradise whilst saving ourselves from the torment of hell our merciful lord azza wa jal said in the 185 verse of surah al imran part 4 it mentions so the one who is saved from the fire and is admitted into paradise he is successful sadly the unveiling women and excessive sins extremely troublesome i swear by allah azza wa jal no one can endure the torment of hell this is a warning by the prophet of rahma the intercessor of umma the owner of janna sallallahu alaihi wasallam i saw more women in the fire of hell now here it mentions a couplet this is the commentary of the chastity verse not more not less the heart and eyes are ruined by being close to non mahrim men there is no more modesty in eyes or fear of allah in hearts the system of life has been distributed since long these amusement parks are murder sites for modesty and shame these spectacles of sins are earthly glamour this half sleeve cloak and attractive veil visible dazzling silk shirts do not watch the glamour of civilization enviously because i swear by allah these are all paper flowers the true path the destination of your intentions and passion is the place of aisha's and fatima's footsteps your life is rabia basuriya character this topic of your story is maryam's meaning mary's chastity sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam so my esteem brothers and our daughters sisters try to encourage yourself to wear the veil and uh, have some protective measures when leaving the home inshallah and seek supplication and ask allah for help if you are feeling like you're going to be left out the society is quite worse in today's society and i know it's difficult for muslims to get a job you know but don't give up allah allah almighty and his beloved rasul are with you may allah bless you and and give you success and give you the ability to come in the mahall of dawat islami amen